Hi, my name is Aaron Hensley. I'm an engine technical service rep for Malibu Boats. Today we're going to teach you how to remove and replace the catalytic canister in our manifolds. For the purposes of this training video, I've already removed the manifold off of our engine. On top of that, I've already removed the exhaust elbow that is connected to the manifold. That's what gives you access to your catalytic canister. Things to note, after you've removed your exhaust elbow, and once you get this canister out, you will want to replace the gasket. You will also need to replace the gasket that attaches the manifold to the head. Once you're ready to remove the catalyst from your manifold, there's two ways that you can set it up. One is similar to how I'm holding it right here. The other is taking a ratchet strap through the center of the manifold and then attaching it to a secure object. You will notice on the catalytic canister at the top after you get rid of your exhaust elbow that you have these slots in four different locations around the lip of the canister. This is to help you remove it. Two ways to do it is to have a puller and then you can actually pull it out. The way that I'll be utilizing it today is the way a lot of people will be using it in the field is with the flathead heavy duty screwdriver. To start, go ahead and take your flathead, get it into the slot, and very easily start prying. Pry from different locations so as to not put pressure on just one portion of the canister. Once you get high enough, you're gonna want a breaking point to help you pry it higher. This is three quarter inch key stock. You can use anything that's firm. All right, once you got the catalyst canister removed, you'll notice that you have residual fiberglass left over from the wrap that goes around the canister. You're gonna wanna clean that off. The big reason for you to remove the manifold from the engine is because you have to clean up this fiberglass wrap that's left over from the catalyst canister after you remove it. When you are cleaning this up, you're gonna have the residual fiberglass going all over the place. So you're gonna want to vacuum it out after you get done cleaning it off the walls of the cylinder and then also blow it out. If this fiberglass gets into the head, it's going to burn off. To clean out the inside of the manifold, we like to use a drill and then a flap sander. I'm using a 60 grit. So the first step is to take your cylinder guide 
and you're going to line it with the offset and top of your manifold. You'll take your second piece, find the beveled edge that's on the inside, and that's the side that needs to go to your guide. And then you can take your canister and drop it down the center, give it a slight push. Once you've got it in there, you know that you're aligned straight, you'll take your dead blow with the third piece. and hammer the cat in place. Remove all your pieces. Make sure there's not any damage to the outside portion of the wrap. And you'll notice that you'll have this lip back in place where you saw it before. Similar to cleaning the gasket off your exhaust elbow, you will also want to clean the surface area where the manifold attaches to the head.